Uh, welcome to my ninth uh, Midnight Hunt quick draft. I've just, just finished number eight. We've got an hour and seven minutes left for sign up. I think we'll add two hours for completing the games. Should be enough time, I think. Right. I think that's a good opening rare, Bloodline Culling. Good removal card. Minus five, minus five. And tokens can get minus two, minus two. Sort of. There might be some edge cases where you can you want to sweep all the tokens. So, good card. Right. Uh, let's let's just focus on these uncommons first. Ominous roost. So, on entering the battlefield or casting a spell from the graveyard, get a one-one blue bird. They can only block creatures for five. I like it. It's quite cool. It's a it's a build around card. Um, I don't think I want to pick it right away. I've seen some other good cards in this pack. The Baneblade Scoundrel. It's quite nasty. So, back in the day, they called his ability flanking. Blocking creatures get minus one, minus one. So he's a he's a big creature. He's pretty nasty. So it's yeah four three for four. Solid solid creature. Then we've got arcane infusion, soul biograph, Lunark veteran. So this is this is a really good common I think soul biograph got a lot to choose from here to choose from this is um, yeah, a good decent counter spell uh, eaten alive absolutely fantastic removal spell it actually exiles you can sack a creature to get the cheap version this is almost certainly what we're going through going for since we've al we've already got a black card that's which is quite important so you don't just try and pick the five best cards in the first five packs but any you know if you've already got a good black card it means yeah it enhances the rest of the black cards you pick burn the accursed would be great that would be you know if i'd got a, a red rare decent red rare to start with i'd get burn the accursed but um uh we take eaten alive and it might even be the best card in the pack there as well this deck and this card Sorry, what am I talking about? This pack <laughs> has one black card, and it's Siege Zombie. Still, decent two drop, I would say. Um, the best, I mean, Mysterious Time is one of the best cards in the pack, I think. Just excuse me for a second. Alright, I am back. So, I really like Mysterious Tome. Um, what else? Yeah, Soul by Griff. Fate of Angler, quite good. The Siege Zombie's alright. I think it is early enough. Siege Zombie could um, go all the way around. I think we take the best card, which is Mysterious Tome. Hmm. So the black cards here: Blade Brand, Hobbling Zombie. I mean, Hobbling Zombie's good. Two, 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 two Death Touch. But we've got some interesting blue cards. We have Delver of Secrets. We have tried playing a Delver of Secrets deck already. We 
might try try them again. Dissipate. Decent counter spell that actually exiles. Thanks. So could we go blue black control? Take the dissipate or sort of blue black spells. With Delver Secrets, I'm not sure blue black spells is a thing. I think I think we'll take the dissipate. I don't I may come to regret it because you don't always play I don't always play my counter spells. But it's a good one that exiles things. Now, yeah, again with the black feel like black has been completely stripped away all we're getting is left with is hobbling zombies which are which are decent enough right scarb wrangler we saw someone using that very effectively that's uh that's a good control card for blue black search party captain is good bait hook angler is also good Geist waves, all right. I don't think bait hook angler is amazing. I think scarver wrangler could has got a lot of potential, so we'll, we'll grab that one. Some black cards have showed up. A couple of creatures, bat whispers, quite good. This guy does direct damage. It's quite an aggro card, this one, I would say. Where, whereas I'm control. That's like a more expensive mid rangey kind of card. You get value out of it. That's card draw, which we are definitely interested in. But I think I see a locked in the cemetery. Um, and we are interested in these kinds of control cards so we're going to take that now we could go the, the walker at Be behemoth that, that could be a a finisher but there's another locked in the cemetery um covetous cuff purse what's i don't think i saw this before Right, yeah, he destroys something that was dealt damage. It, so that works well when you've got a lot of small creatures. Small flyers and things. And you can disturb it to make a death touch, which is really good. It's slightly more exciting than another locked in the cemetery because it can beat face and it can do control things. So I'm going to go ahead and try this out. Flyer that comes back as another flyer. That's that's good value. Another Geist Wave. Another removal card. Don't know if we need another removal card over a flyer that can actually beat face. Uh, okay, Necro Synthesis is good for the sacrifice deck. It's definitely good when you can um, control um, what's dying and what's not dying. But I don't think it goes in this deck. I don't really like duress 
all that much. I think we go Unblinking Observer. They did a good job for me in the last draft. I got had three of them and I played all of them. Helps you cast cast spells like Dissipate. Okay, we've just got one blue spell, flip the switch. So, yeah, black has just completely disappeared. I think I like um, Crossroads Candle Guide. Fill a creature, basically, but fine. It's 3 4 for 4. And it exiles something, so. Probably good, better for the control deck, actually. Okay, component collector, or consider. Component collector's fun, it taps things, it's it's kind of a control -y card. Let's take it. And, yeah, Geist Wave goes all the way around. Blood Pact. Oh, what a treat. Last pick, Blood Pact. Oh, we get a white rare. Sigarda's Splendor. Yeah, for the for a kind of life gain deck, we obviously are rare drafting, so we're taking that. There is absolutely no way that that's going to work. We can't pivot into white and life gain, but we've got. Very luckily, a, a black rare slaughter specialist. And we've seen this about three times um, on the opponent's side of the board. <laughs> and we, I think we're quite. I don't know if we're good at we're we're good at um, exiling opponent's creatures. We're kind of good at killing creatures, so I think I think we like this. Wow, it's two mana for a three three as well. Seems pretty good. Okay. Now, what are we missing in our deck? Because we want, I'm thinking, we don't have any creatures really. Okay, we've got we've got seven creatures. But I just I I spotted that eaten alive, and I'm just thinking, hmm, we're we gonna have a problem. Sacrificing creatures. We've got one thing that makes decay zombies. So that could work. Hmm. But we're also very tempted by devious cover up. Do we take it over eaten alive? Hmm, I don't think so. Diagraph Horde is good, makes two zombies. I think, yeah, eaten alive, really good removal card. That's the second one. This is a very blue pack. We can get Mysterious Tome number two, which seems good. Rise of the Ants. Component Collector, Devious Cover-Up, Mother Lord Decays, but we are going to take the Mysterious Tome, because that is, that is the best thing. Alright, Secrets of the Key, bit of card draw. We've got the Storm Rider Spirit. I do like the Flash on Storm Rider Spirit for a uh, a controly deck. Morkrit Behemoth is also good, of course. We'll take the spirit. Alright, Duress or Brownyard Amalgam. I don't usually play with Duress. I don't usually play with Drowned Yard Amalgam for that matter. We'll 
consider duress, I think, for this game. Flip the switch or Geist Wave. We can make uh, decay zombies. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, we'll take the counter spell. We're thinking we're a bit, uh, a bit controlly. Ooh, oblivious midnight ambush makes it that far around. No way out as well. Take the ambush. Startle or siege zombie. Uh, let's take the siege zombie. I think I'm not. I'm still not convinced about startle. And another siege zombie that will do nicely. Necrosynthesis. It has to die and not get exiled, and we're not a sacrifice deck. Um, and it's just a pain casting it when you, you want to cast it when your opponent doesn't have mana untapped. I think it's Arrogant Outlaw <laughs> we go for. Right, now this is interesting. Crawl from the cellar. That can boost up a zombie. I like that. I do like Component Collector as well. This is card advantage. Goes with my zombies. I've got how many zombies did we get? Two. Okay, we've got two zombies. It's uh, probably not happening. I really, I really like Component Collector so much um, for a control deck. Let's go for it. Pack three. Okay, we've got the Galvanic Iteration. I'll grab that for the collection. I think that's my third one. Big flyer, 4-4. Four, four. Uh, how much flashback and disturb have we got? I think we've, yeah, we've got covert cut purse. Yeah, that's that's pretty good, Gale Drifter. So that, that can definitely work. There's a removal card here, a Revenge of the Drowned. Dark Hammer, Silver Bolt as well. But I think a big flyer. Uh, for the top end is pretty cool. I wanna, I just want to grab that now. Oh my goodness! Infernal grasp. Best removal spell. But there's also vengeful strangler, which people keep playing against me. I notice it doesn't work if there's no target when it when it die when he dies. So it can be very good, but it's uh, it's quite conditional. I think I think it's Infernal Grasp is uh, the one to go for. It's good, quite a good pack this one. Oh, a disturb card turns into a flyer. Seems good. But there's also a component collector. But I think it's time to try a, a new card. I haven't tried this guy before, so chuck him in. Right, so we uh yeah, the 
the Fenestrate is the card, I think. I haven't tried using this yet. It seems... You feel like it ought to be bad, but... Most creatures in the game don't have flying, so... It does, it does kill most things. Yeah, this is that nice uh, sacrifice card. Right, vivisection. Card draw, but you... Uh, discard... Sorry, you um, sacrifice. There's Olivia's Midnight Ambush. There's a Silver Bolt. Um, it's got to be Olivia's Midnight Ambush. This is the most removal I've ever drafted uh, in this set, I think. Second Duress, or I could go for my first Startle. I mean, I'd have still, we're still not convinced by Startle. Let's get the duress. Uh, yeah, nothing apart from Silver Bolt of interest. Cool Gale Drifter or Storm Rider Spirit. We've got we've got a Storm Rider Spirit or Rotten Reunion. I think we go Gale Drifter because it's two bites of the cherry. Wow, so many Silver Bolts. Ooh. We still got a Morkrit Behemoth. That's pretty cool. Don't know if we'll use it. We've got, still got a No Way Out. Let's take that for the collection. And no. Okay. Right. 53 cards we've drafted. We've got to cut 13 of these. I will we'll cut the Crossroads Camera Guide. We don't need its um, mana fixing. I think that's that will be why you play it. We've only got 16 creatures, but we are a control deck. We're going to probably go down to 11 or 12 creatures. So I think that, yeah, we just cut that one first. That's an easy cut. Uh, I think I don't like No Way Out. I'm not going to cut it. Just, you know, every time I've drawn it, it's like, oh, they, it was an aggro deck and they already emptied their hand. And now I'm in trouble. Drop all the count spells because we don't we don't need count spells if we can just kill everything, right? That's my theory. Drop those for the moment. Next wave to duress. the Jurass and the Geist Wave. What have we got left? I think we'll drop Arrogant Outlaw as well. If I'm dropping Ga Geist Wave. Uh, that still leaves me with four things to cut. Let's cut all the easy things to cut, I think. And the deck looks like this now. 499221. Yeah. Right, I think that's good. I think I'll just mull this over a bit. Call that end of part one and uh, see you soon.